Hey folks, Mike Klingensmith, All Seasons RV. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the 2022 Forest River Rogue Armor fifth wheel toy hauler. This one in specific is the 4007. So this about, this is 45 foot, four inches, weighs a little over 13,000 pounds with a 14.6 foot garage. It's huge, massive. Uh, easily can sleep about 10 people. Up front, what I love to point out about the Rogues, how we're ordering, all of them are gonna be coming with this 5,500 watt uh, Yamaha generator. Up front in the big storage compartment area here, they do put D-rings in here. Walking around the opposite side, door side of this unit, it has two massive awnings, come out eight feet, so it's a full length awning space. So like I was saying, up front, you have a full LED strip lighting in here. So early in the morning, late at night, you can actually see what's going on in here. All the Rogue Armors are gonna have 7,000 pound axles with G-rated tires, eight lug nut aluminum rims as well. That's more than enough that you need on a toy hauler of this size. So they put the right equipment already on this unit for you. It also has point one touch auto level system. So it's not a four point level, it's a six point. You got two up front, two in the middle and two in the back. This thing's gonna be like a rock once you're actually fully leveled and uh, locked down onto the ground. You got indoor outdoor speakers. They put their outdoor speakers right here on the skirting, not in the actual fiberglass itself. These are very easy to replace if anything happens to them. Outside kitchen here has the ice maker, has a nice mini fridge, little cutting board. Also has a little trash can here. When you're not using this, it slides out. Easily stored in the outside kitchen, this goes away. Why they don't put a cooktop in here is most cooktops are a two burner, right? You can easily go out, get a Greystone, Blackstone, uh, a Coleman grill, what, what, whatever you would like to. They already have the Quick Connect propane line underneath, but they're giving you the option to get the cooktop you want out here. As a friction hinge door, go up to 25 mile an hour winds without slamming shut. They went to the full blackout door. You do still have a window in that door it is thin shade ready up top. So if you wanted a full blackout shade, ask us, we can easily install one. It is not expensive at all. You do still have the screen door as well, not only here, but on the back door. You have the four step, more ride, sturdy stairs. They come standard. This is not an add-on. We did not add this. This is a standard through Rogue. Awesome grab handle, get in and out, make it very easy. We could make this bigger if you want. And on the more ride steps, they do uh, have the pre-cut out holes here for an even bigger handle to get in and out, or grab handle. This does have the tire pressure monitoring system on it already. That's a standard for Rogue or main things, high, low PSI, high temperature, or a fast leak. So it's gonna tell you that before you actually have an issue, which is great that they're coming standard on the Rogue. Uh, they already prepped the outside for a TV mount. You got the external cable coming out and also a 110 outlet. All these campers nowadays, they do have a digital antenna on the roof. So depending where you are, you can get most local channels, you know, three, five, eight, 19, depending where you're at. On the back half of this with the garage, uh, it's coming standard with the patio. At least again, how we're ordering it, we're gonna have the patio set up, coming with the stairs so you can easily get up and down, easily close this off, locking in place. Nothing's gonna be, you know, getting out of it unless if you have a, a crazy climber uh, as a daughter like I do. Now we're done with the exterior, let's go. Let's jump inside, check out the interior. So again, this has a 14 foot, six inch, fully enclosed garage, closed off from the actual living area. D-rings back here, rated for 5,000 pounds. Also 3,000 pound capacity of your cargo max here in the garage area itself. You notice here, this is all manual. It's all manpower anyways. To drop the bed, you're gonna pull down on this side and then grab this handle, pull down on this side. You already have your top bunk ready to go. I mean, that's fast. You're not holding the button, waiting for this thing to come down and travel. Um, you know, that's just, that eats into your time of, of camping. You know, to uh, lower these down, again, all manpower. Down, flips over, there's the seat. Again, obviously, if you wanted it into a bed, this system, and there's holes here that you flip over. Now you have a bed system back here that easily can sleep four people comfortably. Put this into the couch system. You know, if you guys just want to hang out back here, again, putting this up and down, very easy, very fast. Got hydraulic shocks on both ends, and you're done. 
It's that fast, that easy. Also, if somebody's sleeping up there, they probably wanna be with the people back here in the uh, garage area, typically. So again, that's another reason, big reason why they put the loft on this side versus the living area side. It's a place for a TV up here as well with the 110 cable outlet. You do have speakers back here. This unit has two 15,000 BTU AC units. They're ducted together on separate thermostats and it is prepped for a third AC unit if you really wanted three ACs. This is the half bath. The wall collapses down to give you that full 14.6 garage area. Um, and then at the end of the day, you know, you wanted the private bathroom. Come over here, unbutton, door swing shut. Lock it in place. It is prepped for the washer dryer if you want it. If not, you do have uh, water hookup or water access at least back here in the garage area. So it's got another GFI outlet right here, 110. And then over here on this wall, these are your, your button up blackout shades back here for the garage. Double use, not only is it blacking it out, but it's got nice cargo netting in here. You do have solid surface countertops. These are not uh, compressed for mica, so you can put a you know something really hot on here. It's not going to melt the countertop, so just a little better construction right there. Zebra shades all over in the living area, so it'll give you kind of the the day shade, and then at night a full blackout. Come in standard with the giant TV out here in the living area as well. Uh, over here on this little like side bar table here. Uh, you have some 110 outlets, two USB charger ports. I mean, there's USB charger ports all over in this unit. You got, you know, essentially four right here. You got two others down below right here. You got another four against the wall in the kitchen. Uh, your theater seating, all three seats do recline out, but your two ends are the heat massage, and they do have little uh, blue LED lights in there that that brighten everything up as well. All electric fireplace down below, which is a 5,500 BTU all electric uh, heater. This is a fully enclosed heated underbelly with your 12 volt heat pads on all the tank. Huge pantry here in the, in the kitchen area, tons of shelving. I mean, this being a 45 foot fifth wheel toy hauler, it does not lack storage, that's for sure. Uh, gigantic 12 volt refrigerator, two door, uh, with the two little crispers down below. And then your two giant drawers down here, they're actually both freezers. Stainless steel farm style sink with the residential pull down spray nozzle. Also has a little soap dispenser here, you know, Dawn dish soap, whiskey, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, three burner cooktop up top, plus a nice oven down below, huge microwave up top. Plus above that has storage, uh, more storage next to that. Over against this wall, you have a voltage meter here that's really gonna tell you how much uh, juice is being pulled from that solar panel to the battery. This being on my jump box right now, not the battery itself, basically telling me my jump box is dying. Uh, here's your control panel. It does have the uh, total control on it, which basically means you can take your phone, pair it to your camper, and you can pretty much, for the most part, that's my jump box sign, for the most part, uh, control everything on this unit, which is really cool. Moving into the bathroom, you have a porcelain toilet, not a plastic bucket, big max air, fantastic fan over the toilet, shower fixture, um, also has the pull away, you know, spray nozzle, which is kind of cool, kind of nice to have. Stainless steel sink, not plastic, not acrylic, gigantic linen, closet right here actually in the bathroom massive king size bed in here more usb charger ports over there you also have a charger port over here as well uh, overhead storage in here wardrobe slide out so this has two slides one in the main living area where the uh, theater seating is and your refrigerator and then this wardrobe slide so tons of storage six drawers down below that pull all the way out all plywood construction, have a, uh, a hanging rod in there for additional storage, additional clothes. Um, so again, this is the 2022 Rogue Armor 4007 fifth wheel toy hauler model, 45 foot, four inch overall length, little over 13,000 pounds. Also has a 14 foot, six inch, huge garage with that patio on the back. If you have any questions, want to come in, take a look at this, feel free to give us a call. Telephone number is 330-564-0222.
You can visit us at our website, asrvs.com. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube. We do a bunch of other videos. Thanks for watching. Happy camping.